Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my channel. Before we begin, do subscribe to the channel. In this video, we are going to solve Cambridge IGCSE Mathematics Paper 3 Core 0580 Variant 32 October November 2020 Part 1 Question number 1 Josh, Lewis and Beatrice have a cafe. George records the number of each type of meal sold. He draws a pictogram to show his results. All rows are complete except for salad. The key is this one rectangular with 8 squares is equal to 8 means. This means that 1 rectangle equals to 1 mean. A1, 6 salads were sold, complete the pictogram. So 6 salads means we will have six boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Understanding the key is important. Write down which type of meal was sold most. You can see here, this is eight means eight means plus four. So pasta. Find the number of meals sold all together. We have to write down all the meals. We know that one rectangular box is equal to 8. So 8 plus 8, 16. And here we have 8 plus 8 plus 4. So this is 8 plus 8 plus 4. This will give us 20. Then vegetarian is 4, salad is 6. Fish is 8 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We are just counting the number of boxes. And sandwiches, 8. Add them all together. And the answer is 68. Part B. The cafe also sells drinks. Here the menu card is given and the cost of tea, coffee, bottle of juice, bottle of water is given. Johan buys 2 cups of tea. So 2 cups of tea means 2.20 multiplied by 2. We will get 4.4. One bottle of juice is 1.5 and one bottle of water is 1.35. We add it together. We have the total cost 7.25. Calculate the change he receives from a $10 note. So he has a $10 note and from that he spent 7.25. So we minus it. Therefore the balance is going to be $2.75. Part C, these are the opening times of the cafe, Monday to Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturday from 9.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. Sunday is closed. Work out the total number of hours the cafe is open in one week. So from 8 to 6, after 8 we have 9 o'clock, 10, 11, 12 and then we have 6. So you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. How many hours is that? 1, 2, 3, 4. We can just add 4 plus 6. That is 10 hours. 10 hours on one day. So Monday to Friday are five days. So 10 multiplied by 5, 50 hours. And then from 9.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. So this is still 3 and 9.30. Let's count. We will leave the half an hour for now. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hours and the half an hour which we didn't count here so five and a half hours add them together and we will get 55.5 hours part d one week the cafe makes a profit of 1027 dollars george lewis and brad share this profit in the ratio 742 Calculate the amount of money each receive. So George has seven part, Louis has four, and Beatrice two. To find what George got, we will 
write 7, we will add all of these together. That will give us 13. And multiply 7 over 13 by 1027. This is for George. So he will get 553. Same way we'll do for Louis. His part is 4, so 4 over 13. Multiplied by 1027 is 316. And Beatrice is 2 over 13 multiplied by 1027. So that will give us 158. Now let's solve 1E. In 2019, the rent for the CAFO was 7,275. In 2020, the rent is 7,566. Calculate the percentage increase in the rent. To find the percentage increase or decrease, we use this simple formula, difference of the two values. So the big number minus the small number divided by the original value. So which is our big number? 7,566 minus 7,275 divided by the rent which was previous in 2019, 7,275. And this answer we multiply by 100. This will give us 4. So the answer is 4 percentage. George drives 315 kilometer from the cafe to the airport. The journey takes 3 hours 13 minutes. Calculate his average speed. We have been given the distance and the time and we need to find the speed. Question number F. That's what we are solving. So we will be finding the average speed by using this triangle. We have the distance and we have the time. We want to find the speed. So it is distance divided by time. Speed is equal to distance divide by time. Distance is 315 kilometer. We have to write the answer kilometer per hour and we have 3 hours 30 minutes as our time. To change the 30 minutes into hours divided by 60 that will give you half. So 3 plus half is three and a half hours. We can write this as 3.5 hours. So now distance is 315, time is 3.5 divided and you will get 90 kilometer per hour as the answer. Question number 2a, measure the length of this line in millimeters. So very easy question. We will get the answer anywhere between 46 to 50 millimeter, it is accepted. If you are using the centimeter ruler, you will get any answer between 4.6 to 5 centimeter is accepted. Multiply whatever answer you get by 10. Part B. Measure the size of angle X. For that, we will first have to measure this inside angle. This could be anywhere between 135 to 139. And then the outside angle to find that whatever angle you get inside, subtract it from 360. So if we got 135, we'll subtract it. So we'll get 360 minus 135. We will get the answer 225. And if we got 139, this will give us 221. So your answer can be anywhere between 221 to 225. B2, write down the mathematical name of this type of angle. When you're finding the outside angle, that is called reflex angle. Question number C, we have been given a diagram here. ABC is a straight line and BCD is an isosceles triangle. Find the value of X. Isosceles triangle means the angles opposite the sides which are equal. These lines tell us that BD is equal to CD, the angles will be equal. So angle 
CBD is equal to angle BCD. Now we need to find this angle, angle CBD, because the sum of angle CBD and angle ABD is equal to 180. And why is that? Because angles in a straight line, this is a straight line, right? So angles in a straight line equal to 180. First, let's find angle B. So from 180, we minus 26, we'll get 154. 154 is the sum of both the angles B and C. To find B, we divide by 2. That will give us 77 degrees. And now to find the angle ABD or X. From 180, we subtract 77. That will give us 103 degrees. Solving part D. Work out the size of one interior angle of a regular 16-sided polygon. We can use this formula. Size of one interior angle of a polygon is equal to n minus 2. n is the number of sides. Multiply by 180 divided by n. So one interior angle will be 16 minus 2. Multiply by 180 divided by 16. This will give us 157.5. There is another way also to solve it. But that's a bit longer. Here you need to just memorize the formula. Write down the formulas all in one place so you can always refer to them. Part A. We have been given a circle and there are three points on the circle. X, Y, Z and the center is given to us. Complete this statement. X, Y and Z are points on the what is this called? Circumference. So on the circumference of the center. Give a reason why angle XYZ is 90 degrees. This is the angle they are asking XYZ. Always remember that the angle opposite the diameter or the angle in a semicircle. So this is a semicircle and this is the angle in the semicircle equals to 90 degrees. So write down because the angles in a semicircle is equal to 90 degrees. Part F. A circle has diameter 6 cm. Calculate the area of the circle. Give the units of your answer. Area of a circle can be found by using pi r square. We do not have r. r is the radius. We've got the diameter. Radius is diameter divided by 2. So radius is 3 cm. So pi multiplied by 3 square will give us 28.27. And we also have to write the unit because it is area, it is going to be square. So it is centimeter square. Question number 3a, write down the mathematical name for this quadrilateral. Two sides are parallel, right? So this is a trapezium. And moving on to two, what is the name of this solid? This is a cylinder. Very easy question. Part B. The area of a square is 64 square centimeter. Work out the length of one side of the square. Area is equal to the length of the side, whatever it is, square. Now area is 64 and we got length square. We want to find the length. Whenever there is a square and we want to shift it to the other side, we write square root. So square root 64 is equal to our our length which will give us 8 centimeter. Part C. The length L of a rectangle is 3 centimeters longer than the width. So let our width equal x centimeter. So what will our length be? Length is 3 centimeters longer. So x plus 3. To find the perimeter because we are using here yeah, the perimeter of the rectangle is 26 centimeter. 
so perimeter is equal to 2 times length plus width or we can just write L plus L plus W plus W. This is a rectangle. The opposite sides are same. So L plus L and W plus W. Whichever way you want, you can do that. We will replace L is X plus 3 and W is plus X. This two we can shift to the other side. It's better bef before expanding if you can simplify to do that. So 26 divided by 2 will give us x plus x is 2x plus 3. 26 divided by 2 is 13 is equal to 2x plus 3. Now we will shift the x to the other side. Not x, sorry, the number 30, uh, 3 to the other side. 13 minus 3 is equal to 2x. 10 is equal to 2x. 10 divided by 2 is our x. So x is 5. That is our width. And length is x plus 3. So 5 plus 3, which is 8 centimeter. A cuboid measures 6 centimeter by 3 centimeter by 1 centimeter. On the 1 square centimeter grid, so this 1 square is 1 centimeter. 1 square centimeter. Draw an accurate net of this cuboid. One face has been drawn for you. We know that this is 6 squares, so this is 6 centimeter. And the other is 3 squares, so 3 centimeter. I hope you know how a cuboid looks like. Suppose this is 6 centimeter. This is 3 centimeter and here is 1 centimeter. Total there are 6 faces. 2 faces you will have 3 multiplied by 1. 2 you will have 6 multiplied by 1. And 2 you will have 6 times 3. So that is what you need to keep in mind. There are many ways to draw this. I'll show you one way. Let's count the number of faces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you should have 6 faces. This is our height. This is our length. And this is our width. So we have completed it. Part 2. We have to calculate the surface area of the cuboid. To find the surface area of the cuboid, we have a formula. 2 times length multiplied by width plus length multiplied by height. It's not difficult to memorize. Length multiplied by width plus length multiplied by height and then the width multiplied by height. It doesn't make a difference if you write LW or WL. Now what was our length? 6 cm. Width is 3 cm. Height is 1 cm. So we are going to replace now 6 multiplied by 3 plus 6 multiplied by 1 plus 3 multiplied by 1. Put the whole thing in the calculator. This will give us 54 square centimeter. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. For question number 4 onwards, please watch part 2. Thank you for watching.